Hey, hey, Spring Lafe, Simply Tarot. Okay, this is going to be a all zodiac sign reading. I will start with Aquarius and then go on. Um, I'm going to look at love and money. Um, when I take for love, I will take a romantic card and then a card for love in general. Uh, that could be friend, that could be family, or just love in general for you. Um, I will be doing it extended on these, where I will be taking um, extra cards, different cards. Um, so, I'm going to um, cut between each sign. I will cut between this and Aquarius. Uh, when I come back, I will have the cards laid out and ready. I'm just going to simply take a deck that I have shuffled and cut and go from there. Uh, because it's, it's, you know, rather long. So, yeah, we'll get to that. Okay, Aquarius, you see I've got a lot of things laid out. These here are actually for our extended. Okay, romance, we're going to look at first. And I have got um, advice cards for you. So... Romance, there's something got you in your head. Nine of Swords, this is something keeping you awake at night. Um, you're dwelling on something, allowing something to, um, about romance or romantic, um, you know, keeping you in this place of not knowing. A place of, um, it's not a good place, it's, it's not peaceful. Now, if you aren't wanting romance in your life, this wouldn't be for you. But this is, you know, whoever is dwelling on something they can't change um you're being advised okay 10 the wheel of fortune luck if you want to change things you need need to change the way you look at things you need to um with that 10 allow change to happen stop dwelling on what you can't change and allow luck to come into your life and change your romantic scenario for you uh so you're it's like someone trying to make something into to what they want it to be and it's not it's that's not going to happen uh you know you can't force force a relationship or force someone uh to feel for you it's that type of feeling so allow get out of your head quit worrying about things and allow uh things to to happen on their own allow change to come forward um, because luck is going to be with you. That's awesome. Now, if this is uh, love related in other ways. That could be family, could be friends. It could be love for your animals, love for yourself, love in general. You know, just feeling love. Um, you have got the star card. Be a healer. Um, help others along the way. You know, be that be that person that shines your light for all to see and um, makes things nice and bright uh, for the next person to be able to um, adventure through. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, advice for you is, okay, you got 10 of roses, stress. Um, heal what needs to be healed. Uh, stop allowing stress to run your life. Stop allowing stress to um, take away your peace. Yeah, don't allow it. Um, and then, you know, work-related, we have got uh, the Five of Pentacles. You know, feeling like things just are hard right now. Feeling like things just aren't moving as fast as you want them to. Or, um, you know, they're just not feeling very, um, like they're going where you want them to go. Um, I feel like you need to not put as much emphasis on what you don't have do you see she's holding a child and they're together? All of them are together. Put, stop putting as much emphasis on what you don't have and you feel like you need on what you do have and be grateful for that because that's going to help move you forward, it feels like. Advice for you is strength. Um, that is the eight. Infinity, you know, you have to allow what is meant to happen. But you need to have strength and courage to be able to endure and endure what you need to endure. You know, you got endurance is, um, this is what they're telling you to do, is have uh, your advice, have courage so and bring forth endurance so that you can 
feel grateful and be happy with what you have because more is to come in the future. That's beautiful. Uh, so yeah, I will bring you back for those of you that do the extended and then we'll move on to the next sign. Okay, Libra. Um, these down here are for the extended read. So these up here, we've got the romantic love, love in general, whatever that means to you, family, friends, self-love, love for humanity, love for your animals. And then we have work. And with work, I actually had two cards that fell face down as I was shuffling. So I'm taking them. Um, we're going to start with romantic love right here, and we're just going to go with that and see um, what we get. The chariot. So, something moving forward. Something taking off. Something um, that you may have thought wasn't going to move forward is starting to move forward romantically. And uh, let's get some advice. We've got Six of Wings, which is Passage. So, I feel like that you need to be um, aware of the paths you take. So, it's almost as though we have lots of paths. And I'm drawn to her face and it's how she's looking over. So, you may need to look at every path before you choose to go down one or take something further. Um, this is a feeling like you'll need to really not jump into a uh, relationship or uh, not jump too quickly uh, because it's like you're going to have different paths that are open, but one will lead you where you want to go. It's that type of feeling. Um, and we'll look a little more into that with these cards, you know, when we do the extended. But then we have love here. And um, what I get with love is we got the hair font. So this is a feeling of really praying for what you want. Uh, really reaching for a higher power to help you, to guide you, to direct you. Um, and this could have to do with family. It could have to do with friends. Um, but, you know, it's not going alone. It's it's not going on your journey alone. You're allowing a higher power to direct you. And that's good. You know, and that could tie in right over here with, um, you know, going forward, you know. Um, it very well could. And that's a good thing because that's not going forward uh, blind, blind, you know. That's going forward allowing uh, God or a higher power to direct your move. So, um, that's awesome. That's what this feels like. You're allowing a higher power to uh, direct your way. That's basically what that feels like. And that, it's a good feeling because it, it's it's like coming from a place of not knowing and turmoil to a place of peace. Then we have here the sun. The sun, by the way, is the yes card if you had a yes or no question. But this is support. Allowing support to come in. Now, that support could come from friends, family. It could come from loved ones because this has to do with love. It could come from a higher power. It could come from your angels. You know, it could come from your intuition guiding you, um, taking you to a place of peace, you know, and, and showing you the answers that you need. It's definitely being supported, though. Um, that That's the big thing, is being supported. And then, you know, where we have money up there, I did, like I said, I had two cards fall out. Let's see what they are. I don't know. Okay. If you work hard, I feel like that uh, if you put in the effort and you put in the time and you put in the work, you're going to have many paths open up to you, uh, many directions in which you can travel. And um, they can be very rewarding. You know, um, that's got an awesome look. You put in the work and... It's almost like the sky's the limit. That's, that's what it feels like. 
uh, it's a good feeling. Um, it's like um, options open up, you know. So, dream big and um, don't limit yourself. That's what this feels like. You know, we oftentimes will limit ourselves. Don't do that. Um, and then your advice here, other than what I just gave you that I felt, is playfulness and bliss. Be playful. Have fun. And, you know, don't allow stress and worry to come in and ruin anything for you. Be playful. Feel blissful. And allow allow change and allow uh, things to go forward um, the way they need to and to flow. Allow a flow. That's what this feels like. So we'll come back for the extended. Um, if, you know, you're watching extended. If not, you will jump on to Gemini. Okay, Gemini, this is for you. We've got romantic love. We've got love in general, which could be friends, family, love for humanity, self-love, love for your pets, wherever it takes you. Um, and then we have here about money. This could be about a job. It could be about money in general, abundance. Um, it could even be about um, <sighs> foundations in, in um, you know, where you're being taken care of or how you're taking care of yourself. Different things. So, let's see where we get. These down here are for the extended read. Um, and then this up here is our general read. So, for romantic lovery part of this, we've got Seven of Pentacles. This is about where do you put your energy? You know, are you nurturing relationships? Are you nurturing the relationship that you want to have romantically with someone? Uh, so really look at where you're putting your energy because, you know, if you're putting your energy in, in one place, then you may be building a foundation that you don't want, and the one that you want to build, you may not be putting enough energy towards. So really, you know, look at where you put your energy and how much time you put into uh, the romantic relationship you want. If you don't have someone that's come on your path, if there's no one in your life at this moment, uh, I feel like there there are plenty that are around you. And when they, when they uh, show themselves, I feel like that then you need to uh, really look at how you put your energy. Um, are you giving to that foundation uh, that little relationship to get it growing. Um, advice for you about uh, relationship, okay, <laughs> hair font, which is a number five. Um, so changing the way that you look at things or changing the way that you put your energy out, um, I feel like that um, this is tradition. So if you've been doing it, you know, if you've been going about things in a traditional way, maybe you need to look at things outside the box. If you've been looking at things from an outside the box sort of way, maybe you need to go back to a traditional look at things. Um, I feel like that there is some form of change needed on your part. And I feel like it's got to do with how you go about, you know, that first part where you're building the foundations. Um, that's what it feels like to me with that five. So, yeah. So, then we go over here to uh, loves because this feels like, you know, uh, how with romantic part, um, a need to look. There's a need to look, it feels like. At where you put your energy. It feels like that's very important. Because it's almost like you put your energy in the wrong wrong place and then it gets you nowhere. Now, on the love look of it, uh, we got the Ace of Swords. So, now, like I said, this could be anywhere about your love. It could be love for yourself. There's a truth that's going to be revealed. Um, this is a truth that needs to come out. It's something that can bring peace to a situation or peace to... Um, existing something that wasn't peaceful so a truth being shown it feels like 
And um, that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. This needs to be brought out. Um, it feels like it's very important, actually, that this truth be shown to you. Because if you've been in a really blue, you know, feeling really down and out, I feel like this is going to change everything. Whatever this truth is, you know, this could be a truth about yourself. It could be a truth about your family, a truth about a friend, uh, a truth about how you look at um, or how you give out love in general. It's going to be different for different people. Your advice, okay, you got number six, lovers. Um, attraction. So, this does not have to be romantic. And everyone, you know, they look at the lover's card as a romantic. It doesn't have to be. It could be relationship in general. Um, you know, what do you do to attract relationships, friendships? Um, you know, and I feel like you need to look at that. You know, you, this is your advice card, is to look at why you attract the relationships you attract. That's something that you need to look at. Um, and I feel like that's where this truth's coming out. You're going to be, it's going to be shedding a light on possibly why the relationships have gone the way they've gone in your life, it feels like. Um... Now, where money is concerned or abundance, we've got the Eight of Wands. Things moving along a lot quicker than you may have thought. So, if you know, if you have, um, okay, it's going to be different for different people. For some of you, you've burnt through your money a lot quicker than you thought. And um, so, there is a need to get back on that. There's a need to um, find stability once again. Um, there's a need to fix whatever, you know, if you need to get a new job or if you need to just work harder. Um, and then for some of you, I feel like you're going to be getting some news that's going to come quickly out of the blue. It's about, you know, something that can be very abundant for you, something that can move you forward, something that can um, earn you lots of money. Um, I also feel like for some of you, there could be some news come about and you may be getting an inheritance or such. I am drawn to the land. Um, and this could um, very well, you know, um, be something big. Okay. Advice for you is King of Feathers. Logic and justice. So, really be logical about, about the way that you look at your finances. Or you look at your money. Or you look at your abundance. Or you look at how you get whatever this is. Justice is here. So if you are signing any um, documents, do read the fine print. I feel like that's very, very important. Look at things from a logical point of view. Um, King of Feathers. I feel like there's a, a big um, thing here about family-oriented. Don't allow um, relationships to cause you to um, make mistakes. So, I feel like that you need to look at things from your own point of view. Don't allow others to um, sway your decisions. That's what I'm getting on that. So, um, yeah. I'll come back for the extended if you get the extended. If not, then you will be coming back to Leo. Okay, Leo. This is for you. Romantic love. Love in general could be self-love, could be love of family, uh, pets, love in general, friend, whichever, you know, wherever that lies. Um, and then we have here money or abundance or stability, you know, in that ballpark. Okay, we're going to start with romantic love. We have the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Chalices. That is a wish card. That is things coming to you. That is things working out in your favor. I want you to look at that. That is having more than enough. Now, there is a need to be thankful for that. There is a need to have gratitude. This is beautiful. So, romantically speaking, have gratitude for what is coming your way. Um, something very fulfilling. Or you have already got a fulfilling relationship in your life that is moving beautifully. Okay, advice for you <clears throat> is 
Okay, perfectionism. So, I feel like for some of you, you know, if you expect someone to be too perfect, um, that's not going to be good. The relationship will struggle. I feel like at the same time, you need to expect people to um, not expect you to walk on eggshells. I, I feel like you need to... Um, Okay, I feel like for some of you, you're a perfectionist. You're going to want things your way. And you may have to sway a little bit, you know, because nobody wants to walk on an eggshell. And I feel like for some of you, you've allowed other people to make you feel that way and you just walk on those eggshells. No, no, no. Not anymore. Uh, it's time to let it be known how you feel and what you want. And also, you know, if someone else does that, I'll let you know, you need to take that into consideration. So, whichever way that goes. These cards here are for the extended, by the way. Okay, love in general. Romantic love looks awesome. You know, looks awesome. Um, but like I said, at the same time, you know, be, be, be willing to bend. Um, it feels like it, be willing to bend. Because, you know, you may be, you may have to, to bend a little bit where that perfectionism comes into play, it feels like. Okay, love in general. Eh, nine of wands. So, something is very heavy. Emotions are heavy. Weight is heavy. Feeling burdened. Feeling weighed down. Feeling like you're doing everything all on your own. Where love in general is concerned or love... You know, wherever that is. It could be with family. It could be with friends. It could be in your own, just you, within you. Um, feeling like you're really weighed down. Um, that's heavy. You know, a heavy load. Carrying a heavy load. And, and it looks heavy. You know, maybe it's time to ask for help. Maybe it's time to stop doing everything all on your own and uh, ask others to come in and help you or allow others to come in and help you if you're not doing that. Let's take your advice card. The Builder. Okay. So, you know, maybe it's time to allow other people to help you build. You see what I'm saying? What do other people bring to the table? Are you the only one building something? Allow others to help you. It's time to ask for help. Um, ask for help. You know, ask and accept help. I mean, that's basically what I'm getting. Um, that's important. Because it feels like if you're doing it all on your own, you know, that's, that's going to get really heavy. Yeah. Over here where money or abundance stability is at, let's see what you get. Eh, Knight of Swords, the door is shut. Can't open that door. Well, maybe it's time to change the way you look at or handle money or abundance or stability. Wherever this is for you, maybe it's time for a new job or maybe it's a time for a new way of looking at things. Um, you know, a new way of doing things. That's what it feels like. The old way isn't working. So, it's out with the old, in with the new. Let's see what your advice is. Action and focus. So, you know, Knight of Feathers. It's time for you to really look at things differently. And um, focus on what you truly want. You know, it feels like when one, when one doorway closes, another one opens. So, it's time to open up a new doorway. You know, um... That's truly what that feels like, though. When one door, you know, closes, another opens. And that's something you need to think about. Don't just look at it, you know, in a um, down and out sort of way. And don't treat it, you know, if you knock on a door 
even with a job, you know, if something's not working out, it's not working out. Maybe it's time to find a different job, you know. Or if you've tried and tried and tried and tried to get in a certain job, maybe it's not meant for you to have that job if you just can't get that door to seem to open. You know, standing there and knocking, 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 don't get you anywhere. Maybe it's time to move on to something else. Maybe it's time to go back to school. Maybe it's time to... Um, Set your sights higher. Set your sights and your goals on something else. So, that's what I've got. Um, in the, you know, if you get the extended, that will be next. If not, then you will be coming up on Sagittarius will be next. Okay, Sagittarius. Romantic love here. Love in general, however you take that. It could be family, friends. It could be self-love. It could be love for your animals. It could be love for humanity. Just however it flows for you. Uh, money, abundance, stability. Um, could be windfalls. Could be, you know, it's around how you survive, basically. Uh, we're going to look at romantic love first. I have took an advice card for each of these. And these down here are for the extended. So, yeah, let's get into romantic love. You've got the Eight of Cups, Eight of Chalice. Now, I'm getting two different things. Uh, for some of you, I'm getting that you're walking away from something. Uh, you're walking away from something to go towards something else. Going towards something fulfilling. But here's the thing. It's almost like um, you're walking away from something that isn't fulfilling. Going in search of something that is, but there's mountains to climb, and it's almost like it's scary because you don't know what's uh, uh, you don't know what's on the other side of the mountain, and I feel like that you need to have faith and you need to um, really believe in yourself. I feel like that's a big thing. Now, for those of you that um, aren't going towards anything, someone's coming towards you, and this is someone that um, is ready to really. Put things out. Put things on the line. Um, yeah, because I'm actually seeing um, a clothesline. They're ready to really put what needs to be done into whatever this is. Um, they're ready to, I'm drawn to the flowers, to bring some peace and harmony and beauty to your life, it feels like. Whoever this is, I feel like that, you know, they look at the mountains, but they, they look at... Oh my goodness. Okay. It's almost like they see you as having to have climb up or climbed up a lot of mountains. They want to make your life easier. It's that type of feeling. So that's for some of you. Now, a word of advice for you. Okay, we've got the world card. Number 21, consummation. Now, for some of you, um, this could be that, you know, you're walking into... Your, okay, you could be in... Okay, I'm getting something different. For those of you that's in a relationship, you could be taking it to the to the next level. You could be consummating your relationship or moving in together or um, making it go further than it has been. You know, maybe you're telling people that you're in a relationship. Maybe you're changing your status on social media. Um, now, that's for some of you. For those of you that are um, entering into a relationship, I feel like that things are about to change. Um, you know, you've ended a cycle. Um, something, you know, with endings come new beginnings. So it's a heralding of a new beginning. Um, you know, um, this beautiful. That is, that it's got such a beautiful feel to it. It doesn't feel hurtful or anything. Now, if we look over here at just love, that could be family, friends, whatever, like I said. Um, you've got the Ace of Swords, so expect the truth to come out about something. Um, this is something that I feel like you thought you'd never get the truth about, or the truth would never come out. Um, because, you know, it's a feeling like someone, um, oh, they've waited and waited and waited for this truth, and it's like... Oh, when's it coming? You know, it's it's a feeling like finally the truth is known, you know. It's that type of feeling. 
So I don't know what that's about. Um, your advice is... <laughs> oh my goodness, four of wings. Privacy! So you may want to be private about this. You may want to keep this on the low, you know? Keep it low-key. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Um, you know, something big, this is this is like a big truth that's going to be revealed. And, you know, it, it feels like it's going to help you going forward, but you may want to keep it to yourself. You may not want to divulge that truth to everyone. It's, it's like it's not for everyone's ears. Then over here, when we step into money or abundance or stability or whatever this means for you, we have got, ooh, not seeing something, blind to something, blind to the obvious. Okay, so around money, whatever this is, you've been blind to something. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> it's like there's something that's right there in front of you and you're blind to it. This is something you need to see because this is something that can affect you where money's concerned. Advice to you is soul searching and reevaluation. So take another look at something, reevaluate something, do some soul searching. You know, um, look at it twice. It's that type of feeling. So, for those of you that will get the extended, that's coming up. For those of you that don't, um, you'll be going on to Aries. Okay, Aries, this is for you. Romantic love. And then we have love in general. Could be friends, family, uh, self-love. Could be humanitarian love for humanity. It could be your pets, wherever it falls. And then we have here money or abundance, stability, or around how you survive, that such as that, where whatever you put there. Okay, let's start with romantic love over here. And these cards here are for the extended. So, yeah. Romantic love, we've got the world card. Okay, someone could be getting some news of a new arrival. Um, this can be a new arrival in the way of a um, birth or a... Um, um, new pregnancy, or it can be in the way of a arrival of someone coming in, uh, someone that you did not expect, or um, for some, a new situation that's going to change things. Going to change things as far as romance is concerned, or romantic. Um, if you're in a relationship already, you know, we've got change here. Um, putting away old cycles. Um, with old cycles going away, you've got new cycles starting. So it's kind of like out with the old, in with the new type of deal. So if you have a relationship where it's been kind of scattered and not very good, expect the change to be better. So, you know, this is, this is change. This is um, growth. This is um, newness. Um, but like I said... Uh, can also be a new arrival, it feels like, for many of you. Oh, yeah, it does. And that can be in the way of a child. I also feel like it can be news. So, news that can be good if you take it as good. Yeah, it's according to the person. Your word of advice, oh, you've got the lovers, number six, attraction. So your advice is that, you know, I feel like you attract in basically what you feel. So, you know, I feel like if this is an existing relationship, I feel like it's moving closer. You know, things are going to get a lot closer uh, for you and your person. Um, I feel like that the change that has came in has birthed a new, a newness to an existing relationship. It's got that type of feeling. Um, it really does. It, 
if this is a new relationship that, um, you know, I feel like, or one that hasn't started yet, I feel like that um, it's going to be very exciting. Um, it's like you've got excitement coming. And, you know, you know, whenever you have an, a, a child and you've went through the pains beforehand, the excitement awaits. You know what I'm saying? Um, watching your child grow and such. But it takes pain to get where you're wanting to go. Uh, so I feel like there, uh, excitement awaits you. Um, so it's, it can be for, you know, different scenarios for different people, it feels like. Um, and we will go further in the extended. But now over here where love is concerned, just, you know, love however you take it. We have got the Knave of Wands. Someone wants to tell you something or gift you something. Um, I feel like this is going to open your eyes. It's going to put a smile on your face. Um, that's what it feels like. Um, it's eye-opening. And... Um, Yeah, I keep getting that smile on your face. Which, if you look at her, she's got a big smile on her face. So, it's awesome news, or it's an awesome gift for someone to give you. Um, so, you know, and it, it may make a relationship grow fonder, um, may make a family get closer, or a friend or this could be just someone you don't even know that, you know, they just give you a gift and it really opens your eyes to how um, goodness is still in the world and that puts a smile on your face. It's going to be different for different people. Your advice is we've got the fool, zero, trust. So trust in what you feel. Trust in um, your instincts. Trust in... Um, your gut feeling. You know, trust is a big thing right here with this, it feels like. So, you need to trust, I feel like, um, you know, the fool can be about taking a leap of faith. But I feel like you need to trust your intuition. Yeah. Trust your gut. Yep. Okay, and then over here where money or abundance um, or stability or wh however you take that is, we'll see what you've got. Oh, four of pentacles. Okay, just feeling like something is just, it's just not working out. Um, you know, it's its just not going in your favor. It's, it's not where you want it to be. Um, just feeling out of sorts. That's what it feels like, out of place. Um, you know, I feel like that, you know, if this is a work situation or such, you really need to think about, is it bringing you happiness to keep, you know, trying to do this? Do you need to change the way, you know, do you need to change the place? Do you need to try to go somewhere else? Or if this is a situation um, that you got in that has to do with your money and it makes you feel this out of sorts and that you just don't feel like you fit in. I would rethink that. Um, I would do some real rethinking. Time to rethink something. That is for sure. That's what it feels like. Time to rethink things. Your advice? Four of shells. Do some soul searching and reevaluate things, just like what I just told you. Time to rethink. So it's time to soul search. It's time to um, go deep uh, because it feels like you're in a position about money that's just not a. It's not. It's not got a good feel to it. Um, no, it does not. Um, so that's what I've got. Um, if you get the extended, then you will start now. If not. We will move on next to Taurus. Okay, Taurus. Romantic love here. Love. Um, this could be self-love, family love, friend love, love for humanity, pet love, 
however you take it. Uh, money, abundance, stability, however you take that. Okay, let's start here with romantic love. Let's get your card. You've got uh, the Ten of Wands. Okay, so if you're in a relationship, a romantic relationship, you feel like you're carrying the brunt of the burden. You feel like you're carrying a lot of weight. And it's like you have to stand up for everything. You have to be on guard about everything. Um, and there's a feeling of feeling alone. A lot of loneliness um, is what I'm feeling with this. So, you may have to um, get your person, whoever you're in a romantic relationship with, to help you. To help you find out what's behind this door. To help you to open the door. To help you going forward. Um, oh, yeah, it's a heaviness. So, there's a need to, you know, ask for help. Um, if you're in a relationship. Now, if you're not in a relationship, and I feel like that um, going forward, you feel like you're carrying burdens. You feel like you're carrying a lot of weight. Um, I feel like you, you need to deal with what you need to deal with. Um, and that feels like patterns, behaviors. Uh, you need to um, heal whatever you need to heal. Um, you need to take time for you. For you. That's what it feels like. Maybe that's, um, get some de-stressing, you know. Let's see what your advice card is. Perfectionist. Perfectionism. Okay, A of gems. So, are you a perfectionist? Are you asking too much of other people? Or is someone asking too much of you? You know, are they expecting more than you want to give? Are they um, asking for too much? That's what it feels like. It's almost like someone demands. You know, are they demanding? Because if they are, eh, I say, no way. You know, don't allow that. Okay. Now, let's move over here to love. In general. Oh, we got the Ten of Pentacles. So, you've got yourself. You know, you ain't got no troubles in the way of you and your family. Things are beautiful. Um, you know, and love in general looks awesome. So, uh, strong. You, you, you've got a, you're strong. You are strong. Now, you need to, um, what makes you happy? You need to look at that. What, what, what is beauty to you? What You know what I'm saying? How do you look at things? Uh, I feel like it's a big thing about looking at things. Um, it's like you're strong on your own. But how are you, you know, with others? Or in family? This, you know, I feel like that's a question to ask yourself. Advice is, okay, the moon, fear, a number 18. So, wh what, what are you afraid of? You know, that's something you need to ask yourself. And I feel like you've answered that question. That's going to help you a lot going forward. Um, these here are for the extended. Now, we move over here to money. Oh, you got the Queen of Swords. Okay. Did somebody do you wrong? I want you to look. Woo! Mercy. So, that's not the best of energy to be in, you know. Um, <laughs> um you're tired. You're tired of the bullcrap. Um, not dealing with any bullcrap anymore. So, not dealing with crap. Basically. You're not going to deal with deal with anything that isn't, you know, whew, you're not going to deal with drama, it feels like. 
around your money and around money in general, it feels like you'll just take somebody's head off in a heartbeat. I feel like you're tired. Tired of the burden. That's what this feels like. Advice to you is um, mental clarity and foundation. So, maybe you need to get some mental clarity. You know what I mean? Think about things. And um, look at the look at your foundations. Look at this foundation where money is concerned. You know, maybe you need maybe it's time to um, look at somewhere else if this is a job. Now, um, if you get the extended, that'll be coming up. If not, Virgo's next. Okay, Virgo, this is for you. We've got romantic love here. I asked for an advice card for you. Then we've got love. Um, this is in the way of um, whatever that means to you. Could be family, friends, could be a, a love for humanity, could be self-love, could be love for your pets, your animals. Uh, and then this is on money or abundance, stability, however that resonates with you. Um, these down here are for the extended read. So, for romantic love, we're going to take the card and then we'll get the advice card. And we have here three of swords. So, this has got a feeling of, um, it's almost like giving up on trying. You know, being hurt, and it's almost like um, feeling like if you try again, you're just going to get cut again. You see what I'm saying? Um, really overlooking a chance for something beautiful with that rose. Um, so there's been pain in the past, and I feel like you're allowing that to dictate the way you see a chance for love in the future or a chance for romance in the future. If this is an existing relationship, your person has hurt you so badly that you are really not knowing what to do or how to, to, to deal with this or where to turn with this. Um, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of inner not knowing here. So it's going to be different for different people. Your advice is number nine, which is the hermit. You know, the hermit is about healing. The hermit is about guidance. The hermit is about being smart going forward. Not rushing. You know, fools rush in. The hermit is about really looking before leaping and taking your time, taking an introspection. Exactly what it says right there, introspection. So, it's time for you, it feels like, to really look at things from a different view. Take the time you need for yourself and do the healing that needs to be done. But not only that, take that look at what's happened in the past and how you got there. Uh, could this be a pattern? Is this reoccurring? You know, there's a need to really assess everything. And if this is an existing relationship you really need to look at it. It needs to be looked at from different angles, different levels, you know, and really talk about things. Don't just brush it under the rug. You know, this this needs to be um, truly, I feel like, analyzed. You know, you need to analyze what's causing this, you know, what what caused the pain and what's keeping you stuck? What's keeping you in that place of... Um, see, I feel like for some it's denial. It's like... They just get stuck in this place of, okay, I got hurt. Okay, I got hurt again. Okay, I got hurt again. It's going to keep happening. So it's like you need to break the patterns. You know, break what um, keeps that happening. 
but until you can you can't break them until you look at them and you figure out what they are you know it's that type of feeling um we'll go a little further and extended but over here on love oh my goodness five of swords feeling like everyone just it's like just keeps you down it's like you can't you feel like you can't win for losing um you know and oh man see it's not only bad in the romance stack but it's really heavy in the love altogether stack you know are you keeping your own self down for some of you i feel like that's you doing it to yourself for others of you i feel like you may have family that's running over you um or friends and you know you feel like everyone just keeps you down and and tries to cut you while you're down you know don't give you a chance to even breathe Whew. your advice is the hierophant five it's time to change things okay five is about change you know something needs to change and sometimes change has to be profound before it really makes a difference you got the hierophant here so i feel like that you know if you are religious you need to really start praying you need to start allowing the angels to help you uh, you need to open yourself up to the help that they can give you god can give you you know if you're spiritual allow the universe to help you allow now here's the thing we got this and it says tradition so you know there may be family traditions that are really putting you on the chopping block they're really you know um, it's like limited belief systems. So, so what is it that is causing you to feel like everyone's running over you? Is this something that you really want to keep as a tradition? Or it, are people going away from the tradition? You know, it's something to look at. I feel like it's going to be different for different people. Um, whew, this is heavy. I mean, we're talking heavy. Uh, heavy energy. And, um, just, my goodness, the feel of it is so heavy. Doesn't feel good. You know, what needs to change? I feel like you, you really need to ask yourself that question and really start looking at your life. You know, what is it that needs to change? Because it feels like people are just basically taking advantage of you or using you. It's almost like you're doing everything and then, you know, because tradition. Oh, okay. A good way of putting it. Like, say you've got a family. You know, lots of family traditions used to be that, say, the eldest, say, son would get the the family plot or the family home or whatever. Um, but say... Um, the eldest son does nothing to take care of the parents. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, it's got that type of feel to it. Like, you know, it could be something that tradition says one thing, but, it, you know, it's totally different. You know, if that, if that child did not help take care of the parents, help take care of the property, and the other children did, you see what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's got that type of feel to it. Now, on money over here, or abundance, stability, we've got the hair font. So, we've got the hair font out twice. Uh, that tells me you're very religious, and you need to let the angels help you. Uh, now, as far as money is concerned on your own, it feels like things, are, you know, are, are going well. You know, it's like you feel very blessed. You feel very grateful. And that's awesome. You know, blessed and grateful. Um, that's got a good feel to it. And, um, yeah. Yeah. So that looks really good. Um, your advice is strategy and resistance. So, you know, you're being advised to really, um, I feel like it is, okay, if you see the armadillo, the armadillo has got a coat, an armor, so that, you know, things don't easily penetrate the armadillo, you know, and I feel like that you could be, you know, 
needing to put up your armor a bit, uh, not allowing things to get under your skin as easily, change your strategy. Um, and that could go a long way, it feels like, in helping you go forward. You know, um, don't allow things to... Get under your skin as easily. So, um, if you get the extended, that will be next. If not, uh, we'll move on to Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, this is for you. Romantic love here. Love in general, however you take that. Could be family, friends. Could be um, a love for humanity, a love for yourself, self-love. A love for pets, however you take it. Um, and then here we have money or abundance, stability, however that rolls for you as well. We'll start over here. Um, these down here are for the extended. We're going to start here with romantic. Let's see what we got. We've got the emperor. So you're coming in as the emperor. The ball is in your court. You are in charge. You are the leader of whatever happens next. So... Your decision, you know, your choice um, to choose what you want. And um, I'm getting, um, you know, make a decision. It's, it's up to you to make a decision, some decision. That has to do with your love life or romantic. Um, the romance in your love. Romantic love could be true love. It's all up to you. And then we have an advice card. The advice card is actually five of Jim's anxiety. So I feel like don't allow anxiety to take control. Don't allow anxiety to lead. You know, because sometimes anxiety will take the lead if you allow it to do so. So don't allow that, you know. Um, think about what you truly want, I feel like. And... Um, don't get anxious. And and ask the angels. Ask God to help you to know what is what's best for you. And go with it. Over here we have love, whatever that means for you, like I told you. Let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, you got the universe card. So that's like the world card, but bigger. Change. Things changing in an enormous way. So, there may be a lot changing in your life. Um, so much change. It could be internally. It could be externally. It could be um, situations. It could be relationships. You know, we end chapters in our life, but an ending is a beginning. So, you know, if you have change going on and something is ending, there will be a new beginning. That's the best way I feel like to look at that. You know, change, um, sometimes it's a profound thing, but it doesn't have to mean that, you know, it's the end of everything. Um, it just means that, you know, sometimes things have to change and you're ending something. You're closing a cycle. You're closing a chapter. But then it's time to begin a new one. Make it even better. Advice card crossroads two of roses so there's a decision that needs to be made you know when we get to crossroads that's like being at a crossroads on a decision a decision that you need to make a choice that you need to make but the thought of change with this universe card may be kind of scary but you know like i said though change can be profound it can transform our lives it can you know it doesn't have to be a bad thing. Um, but you're at a crossroads. There's two flowers. There could be a choice between um, two of something. That could be people. That could be um, things. But it's a crossroads. So there's a need to choose. That's what you're being told. Okay. And then we, we jump over here to money or abundance, stability however you want to put it. Our card. Okay, you got the Prince of Pentacles. Okay, you see something in sight. You know, it's not, it's not all grim. Doesn't look bad. 
Um, it does not look bad. You know, this has got a feeling like if you follow, you know, what, what you feel and you keep going on that direction, he's got something in sight. Do you see that? He sees something. So, if you are looking for a job, it feels like it's right ahead. If you are looking for something to, to um, oh, maybe you've been wanting to make more than you're making now, it's right ahead. It's like seeing it. It's right there. Just have to look a little bit further. Advice for you. Page of Shells. Intuition and inspiration. So, follow your, in your intuition. And I feel like that um, being, be inspired and feel inspired. And that's going to take you right where you want to go. Whether, you know, this is a new job, an existing job, or an existing path to, to, that helps keep you afloat. It looks bright. The path looks bright. It's like, you know, seeing, seeing something right there. And it's, it's caught your eye. It's caught the eye. So, okay. Scorpio, this is for you. Romantic love here. Love here. You know, it could be around family, friends, love for humanity, self-love, love for pets, wherever that takes you. And then we have money or abundance, stability, whatever that means for you. Down here is our extended read. So, yeah, I'm going to start with romance, romantic love. See what we get. Oh my goodness, you got the Wheel of Fortune. Say, so, luck on your side. Things looking good. If they weren't looking good before, they are now. Uh, things going in your favor. Um, it's got a good feel to it. So if you're in a relationship, it's like things start flowing. Things start going uh, in a good way. Um, if you're not, look for things to change because... It looks like luck is on your side. Things are about to start flowing in your direction, in, in, in flowing for you instead of against you. Um, you've got a word of advice here, so let's look at that. Okay, it's Three of Wings Sorrow. Okay, I feel like this is don't let, um, you know, don't get stuck in the thinking about the past. Um, if you've allowed the past to come into, um, I feel like, relationships before, and change things, don't do that. Let it be. Let the past rest and move along with ease, knowing that things are going to be better this time. You know, that's a big thing, I feel like. Um, then here we have love. See what you get for that one. Okay, you got Six of Pentacles. This is about balance. This is about equality. Um, and, you know, it could have to do with children and could have to do with balancing time out, balancing your life out. Um, it could have to do with lots of things. But what I'm getting about it is about equality and about balance and um, so that it benefits you, I feel like. Uh, there's a big thing here about um, equal, it feels like. So that you'll have to figure out what that feels like for your means. You've got seven of wings as your... Um, Advice card, opposition. Okay, I feel like you need to stand strong when facing opposition. Um, I feel like that's a big thing. Is, you know, it feels like being strong and allowing yourself to, to be strong going forward is, is an awesome thing. Not allowing yourself to um, be taken back you know, by, by opposition. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for what you believe. It's that type of feeling. Okay, and then we have money here, or abundance. You got the king of swords. Take charge. You know, you, you have everything, the book knowledge, whatever. You have it. And I feel like you could you could get more, you know, you maybe need to go to school. But you can take charge of your finances, or you can take charge of a job, or you can take leadership, or you can start your own business. This has got that feel to it. Nine of crystals, security and abundance. You got this. You got this. You can do it. Uh, you can make whatever you want to happen, manifest for you. 
that's what I'm feeling. So if you're here for the extended, that will be. Okay, Cancer, it's time for you. Romantic love right here. I got you a um, advice card. Love, whether that be family, friends, uh, self-love, love for humanity, love for animals, whatever. And then I got you an advice card. And then we've got money or abundance, stability, however you want to take that, and an advice card. And these cards down here are for the extended read. So let's start over here with romantic love. Okay, you got the sun card right out of, right out of the gate. So if you have a yes or no question, the answer would be yes. This is the most happiest card in the deck. And I want you to look at that. There's not just one person, there's two. So, this has got a feeling of being happy with someone, feeling happy with someone. Um, really, you know, it's like having happiness in your life or it is coming to you, you know. Um, oh, it's got such a good feel to it. And I am feeling yes to this card. So, yeah, it's, things being bright, looking good, looking up out of sight, you know. I mean, what can I say? It's just got such a good feel to it. Uh, advice for you. Okay, you got the High Priestess, number two, which is intuition. So you're being told, you're being advised to follow your intuition. You know, um, don't make any, any jumps or anything without, you know, if you don't feel it, don't do it. Um, be happy, be optimistic, follow your intuition, you know, stay grounded. And enjoy life, because I feel like that's what you're doing, or you're going to be. Um, that's got such a good feel to it. So it really does. Now, over here with love. Okay, you got the Six of Swords. Something moving forward. Moving forward. That's exactly what this is. You know, not staying in a place of stillness. So, moving forward about something to do with love now. Um, whatever that means for you. Attraction. The lovers. Now, lovers does not have to be lovers. Um, this is about... Um, a, it's like a, a foundation. A relationship. You know, and also I feel like there's something about um, an attractive path. It's like... You've got a path ahead of you. You're traveling to it. And it may be, you know, in order to reach something. It could be to reach a person that, you know, is going to um, be a life partner or such or a friend. It's very attractive, you know. Um, we, will, we will put that out there. It's very attractive, whatever this is. This path ahead is attractive. Now, over here on the money aspect, let's look at that. You've got the Knight of Wands, but I want you to look at it, straining the eyes to see. So that gives, what this gives me is that a feeling that you need to look closely. You know, sometimes things look better than they are from a distance or from afar. Um, so you really need to look, at, uh, take a closer look um, before you leap where your money's concerned. That could be about buying something. That could be about a job. That could be about um, relocating. It could, you know, it's got something to do with abundance or stability or money in some way. Um, you, here is your advice card. You've got Eight of Crystals, which is dedication and progress. So be dedicated going forward. Be dedicated to having progress. Um, Take things seriously, I feel like, and, you know, you'll be okay. Um, <clears throat> so, if you are seeing the extended, that will be next. If not, then we'll jump over to Pisces. Okay, Pisces, this is a reading for you. We've got romantic love here. We've got love here. This could be family. This could be friends. This could be uh, love for humanity, self-love. Could be love for animals, however it is for you. Here we have money, abundance, stability, whatever that means for you. 
we uh, down here is for the extended um, I'm going to start here with romantic love and see what we get for you we've got the five of pentacles um, you know this is a feeling of um, abandonment a uh, feeling left behind a need for understanding it feels like um, there's something that you need to understand about why you're feeling that way okay oh yeah we've got the strength card and it's understanding if you see it down there um, eight infinity um, something that you know this is some it's, it's like a learning phase something about learning something now um, I feel like you need to you know find strength from within that's a big thing with this is finding strength within from within is going to help you um, understanding things going forward. Now this is with the love card, for instance. We've got Seven of Swords. Uh, you may be moving. You may be relocating. Uh, that can oft often be picking up and moving. Uh, so I'm definitely getting movement with that. Um, someone may take something. So that can also be picking something up and taking going away with something hmm. your advice card okay the moon that's your card too yours and uh, cancers number 18 fear um, I feel like with this card coming out don't allow fear to cloud your vision you know, the moon card can be about illusion. So don't allow fear to cloud your vision. Um, try to make just decisions. Uh, you know, try not to make um, bad decisions, it feels like. Okay, now with money, we've got the seven of wands. This is a feeling of being on guard feeling like you have to um, put your guard up. You have to protect yourself when money is involved or abundance or stability. It's almost like you against the world. Advice. you got two of acorns, insight and focus. So have a good insight on what you truly want, what you need to change, and what you need to do. And then focus upon it. Um, I feel like things will improve so much if you do that. It's that type of feeling. Now, if you're getting the extended, that will be next. If not, thank you all so much for being here with me. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Let me know how you like these readings. Mm. Bye.